Recently, we concluded our online trainer-led course on introduction to JavaScript and SAP UI 5 for ABAP developers. Now we are ready with the follow-up course on SAP UI 5 with OData and SAP Fury. This will be our concluding course on SAP UI 5 and Fury. The prerequisite for this course is that you need to have good knowledge of SAP UI 5 front-end design. You should know how to read input, text fields, work with objects and arrays, and good hands-on knowledge of JSON models. Please note, we will not be covering the basics of UI5. If you are a fresher in UI5, you should not enroll in this course. Also, the course is planned for the morning time in India, so the participants from Europe and Western Asia should not join as it will be midnight or early morning for them. Participants from Australia, New Zealand, Indian subcontinent, East Asia, North and South America are welcome as the time suits them. Before we reveal what we are planning to cover in the new training, we want to showcase what our participants learned and designed in our previous JavaScript and SAP UI5 introduction training. We learned high level about HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Check this simple page we designed in our last training. We try to learn about tags, hyperlinks, um, image handling, input fields, submit buttons, uh, HTTP crude operations, blocks, ordered and unordered list, uh, tables, DOM, audio video uh, controls, um, how to make the page responsive using float property. If you click this, the pages will uh, and the elements will align themselves as they are responsive. We checked unconditional styling pseudo classes. We also learned the trick to transpose the unordered list elements using CSS. We do not need to master HTML, CSS and JavaScript for UI5 development, but having the basic understanding of the topic surely helps. In the JavaScript, we learned how to use browser console for our UI research and development. We covered the variables, data types, operators, strings, object variables, arrays, push pop functions, loops, and many more. We learned how to debug and play with the data at runtime. This is one of the simple assignments submitted by one of the participants during the second week. So here we have covered fragments. Um, buttons, passing values, table controls, navigation toolbars, and icons. So if you see here, we can pass from from one fragment to the main page and the data got reflected. We also have this navigation buttons. So in this, we have this uh, normal buttons. So if I click here, the data is getting refreshed in the, in the input fields and if you can clear it gets cleared so if i want to add one more uh, column in this or one more row in this table we can do that so this is a simple uh, page uh, ui develop development we did in the initial weeks let us check another assignment submitted by another participant he has handled the values multi uh, combo box and date pickers in this uh, assignment so if i add say apple add so it's giving food, food apple is successfully added so if i give two years so they have multi pickers here multi combo box and then date picker say i i have a date and calculate the difference between the two dates is 26 days so this is a simple assignment but it's really important because this gives us the fundamentals for our ui development let me sh quickly show you one more assignment submitted by yet another participant he also showed how to handle data in ui screen along with the date picker so he has a date picker as well and if you see he gets the difference here and then he has given a name say and say hello so he has handled this say hello and then if you see here he has handled the multi combo box so you can select all or you can select just a couple of them and then he has given a push button which will copy this rows and put it in the bottom table so this is a table control 
and they have used JSON model for all this development. In our introduction course, we have not covered OData. Therefore, in this new training, we will start with OData. We will cover the crude operations along with the testing and debugging of OData. Evapers will find it very easy. Next, we will integrate the UI with OData services and perform crude operations in SAP backend. All our UI development will be done using Web IDV. We will learn how to deploy using ABAP program and also learn how to deploy using Web IDE. Then we will move to SAP Fury and its design principles and types. We will learn how to make use of the SAP Fury library. We will learn in details the SAP Fury launchpad. We will understand the concepts of tiles, catalogs, groups, semantic objects, and PFCG objects. We will install, configure, and activate standard Fury apps and also do front-end and back-end extension of a standard Fury app. This training should make you a complete SAP UI5 and Fury consultant and after the course, we are confident you will be project ready to work in any front-end implementation or support projects. We give more stress on classroom exercises. The trainer will explain and give a demo of the topic and you will have to do some exercises during the class time itself. You need to come prepared and put some efforts. Unlike other trainers who teach and leave, we, we will force you to do the exercises during the class. If you think you cannot put effort during the training hours, this might not be the right course for you. We suggest you should not enroll. We devote more than 40% of our training hours for the classroom exercises by the participants. If you sit, sit idle during this training, it will be a waste of your time and money. Only if you are ready to put efforts during the training hours, only and only then you should be able to take maximum benefit of this training and the trainer's presence. Apart from the classroom exercises, the trainer will provide you some assignments which you have to in investigate, research and complete. Please make a note of the training dates and time. As revealed earlier, the timing might not suit participants from Europe and Western Asia, so please plan accordingly. Recordings will be provided after each class. You will have lifetime access to these recordings. If you miss any class for any unforeseen reasons, you may always watch the recordings and get ready for the next class. Till date, we have trained more than 400 participants and we always receive positive feedback. You may check the review of our previous batch participants in the training page. Link is provided in the description below. If you still have some queries or questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one six four six seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mailsapyard at gmail.com. Hope to see you live on the training day. Stay safe and stay indoors during this time of pandemic. Have a wonderful time ahead.